Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thanks again for joining us. And uh, in the previous broadcast, we started to talk about this topic uh, we called Reset. And uh, we said that Reset means that we need to go and find a pure form. Uh, where we read Romans chapter 12, verse 2, where the Bible says we shouldn't be conformed to the world, uh, but we should be uh, transformed by the renewing of our mind. So anyone looking for a reset, which I believe God is asking us to go into, should take note of this same thing and say, I will not be conformed, but I will be transformed. I will not be conformed, I will be transformed. And that sums, that, uh, sums it up uh, what we call reset. I will not be conformed, but I will be transformed. And as I'm transformed, what will happen? I will be able to find what is the will of God for my life. Amen. So uh, be patient as we go through this uh, because it's a whole lot of things to share from the Word of God. Ephesians chapter 1, I read verses 3 and 4. Ephesians 1, 3 and 4. Blessed be God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. In Christ. Amen. Now, this is opening us into a totally new world. Salvation is when heaven comes into, when the gift of heaven comes into our lives. Before salvation, all that we know pertains to the cause of this world. And this world is corrupted by the prince that, uh, the, the uh, prince of darkness that rules in the hair, that rules in the children of disobedience. Whether you are Greek or Gentile or Jew, it's the same corruption that everyone has come under. Even though the Jews had a uh, route or a leeway through the law, but they could not fulfill the law. So we all needed Christ. And in Christ Jesus, there is no partition or separation again. All of us have access to salvation. The Bible says the gift of uh, God that brings salvation has appeared unto all men. Hallelujah. Now, salvation brings us to a new uh, way of life. And not just that. If you look at this, it's like, that heavenly encounter that gives us salvation does something for us. It's like God opens a brand new account for your life and for my life. And in that account, the riches of his grace are provided. They are made available. Amen. The Bible says here that we are blessed with all, 100%, all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. So there's a whole lot. Praise God. The Bible talks about the uh, unsearchable grace of Christ. Unsearchable in the sense that it has many dimensions. It has uh, different ramifications. And so it, when we search it, it means that we may not get into all of the ramifications. We may not get into the bottom of it because it's too deep for us. Amen. But it doesn't mean that we should, we should not search because God has made all of these things available to us. An account has been opened for you in heaven and you have to go and find out what Christ Jesus has done for you. Everything is summed in that word. In Christ. The Bible says we have these blessings in Christ. So what do we have in Christ? All of the provisions of deliverance, of salvation, of redemption, of healing, of peace, of joy unspeakable, of, of progress in life, of the promise of a heavenly home, all of these are contained in Christ Jesus. And God doesn't want us to just have 1% or 2% of it, even though if we look at it, many of us have not gone beyond that 1%. Uh, level. God wants us to climb up because those things are available. And for us to climb up, we need to have a reset. And what does that reset mean? Put aside the conformities that we have had in time past. Put aside the doubts of the past. Put aside the fears of the past. Put aside the bondages of the past. Put aside the mindset of the past. 
and embrace a new mindset in Christ Jesus that tells you and me that all of these blessings are available in Christ. And that means that our feet have to be established in him. And that is the root into the blessings. And when our feet are established in Christ, every day of our lives we are able to search and tap into the grace. And then we have more of the grace. And we have higher levels and higher levels and we keep abounding in the grace because it is so deep and so wide and so abundant. Jesus says it all. He said, I've come to give you life in abundance. And because our Lord Jesus came to give us life in abundance, we should have nothing short of life in abundance. So make up your mind that you will not be conformed, but you'll be transformed so that we can access this life that we have in Christ Jesus. Amen. Let's pray a prayer and say, Lord, please open my eyes to see all that you have given to me in Christ. Open my eyes to know what you have provided for me in Christ. Enlighten the eyes of my understanding. Give me wisdom and revelation to know the things that belong to me, to know my inheritance in Christ Jesus. And Lord, give me the grace to put aside every other thing and just hold on to Christ and hold on to my profession of him and in him, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So there are many things that men can stand upon. But God is calling us to go and stand upon uh, Christ Jesus and stand upon that solid rock and find out the things that are freely given to us and just believe and receive those things for our own life and for our benefit and for the glory of God, of course, in Jesus' name. Thank you for joining us. And please join us again as we study uh, this new life in Christ Jesus, this new covenant that we have in Christ. Amen. God bless you.